and welcome. Uh, I made a couple changes to my bike that I wanted to demonstrate. Uh, mostly, actually, they're entirely light related. So the first change that I made is these front blinkers, which are now like this. This is the uh, Lockhart Phillips uh, flush mount style number three. And I got this for a couple reasons. Uh, the first reason is that the old style, which are these guys, had three wires on them. Uh, there's our, the negative obviously, and then the running, uh, running light and turn signal light. And the bike is only made for two. So I actually had this really convoluted wiring system that went up in there and was a big mess. And I didn't like that. I don't, I don't like dirty wiring. I just, ugh. I'm trying to keep things clean and that was a real failure because that was like one of the first mods that I ever did. So I've upgraded to this. The other reason I changed is because I want to eventually switch these to LED bulbs, but right now they're just standard incandescent. And they're really, no, I don't know about standard, there's a little itty bitty thing, so it's like I need to find out who makes LEDs. So that's the big change. Uh, the, that's the big front change, and you can see, not really, but you can see them there. So there's the other one here. Okay. Second change I made was for the rear. Uh, the first is for the turn signal. Instead of the stock incandescent, I now have LEDs. And the reason I did this was just because it's brighter and I really want to save as much power as I can. So if I can switch from a, what is it, a five watt bulb to a one watt bulb, it's four little watts, but hey, there's eight watts right there. And you can see there is a LED tail light. Now this is actually an integrated tail light, which means that there is a turn signal embedded in there. I don't have it plugged in because personally, I don't think that there's enough contrast between the red and the yellow to warn the car coming up behind me. So I'm sticking with the stock uh, lights and this is just going to be a tail light and brake light. All right, so that's them on their own. I don't know, it just kind of looks cleaner being all clear for some reason. I don't know why, I like that. All right, so let's show you guys what they look like. Now, okay, the first thing is normally, like I said, these are only wired for two, which is the positive and the negative. That means that it only comes on with the turn signal. However, I really do like the idea of running lights. I think that it helps make me more visible, at least from the side. And so I contacted, or actually, um, I didn't contact, um, well, I did. Uh, try at modmy250.com has made a module that will actually make these into running lights without the need of the third wire. So you will see that momentarily. Let's go ahead and turn everything on. Okay, so with just the key on, you can see the running lights. They come on with the license plate light. He's got it wired into there, so turn the bike on, you automatically have running lights. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you what the tail light looks like right now. Hello, hello. Actually, let me demonstrate what the brake light is, because we can do that, because I'm clever. Aha! Okay, so I will show you what the turn signal now looks like. And again, these front ones are incandescent, so there's nothing special about them other than the whole thing is clear. The rear, however, is LED. There we go. And you can see right there that they are alternating. the other one. Hmm. And let's see, just to make things all clear, let's do this again. There we go. Okay. All right, so now what I'm going to do, stop everything. So this is with the lights on in the garage. So let me pause here and I'll turn off all the lights so we can see what, the, what they look like in the dark. All right, so here we are. There's the tail light. And from the side, you can see the running light up there. Okay. And let's do it with the brake light. Here's what it looks like from behind. 
Not bad, not bad. Okay. And the front one looks like this. Now, obviously, my headlight's not on. So let's go ahead and start the bike up. And we will get the headlight going. And off. Really off, neutral. Yep. All right. That's not going to change. So, still visible even if the headlight is right there. Oh yeah, we're gonna turn that off. Sorry. There we go. Okay, so that's it for the light review. However, if you want to see something really cool, you can see what you can see a little purple light down there. I'll show you something really neat. This is what I like best about my bike. Okay, hang on. Well, that warms up. So one more turn. There's some side. Now, this is only with the low beam, it's not with the high beam on. There we go. Alright, now here's the purple light. Hey! My Tron bike. I like my Tron bike. So, there's a demo of my little lights. Let me go ahead and turn the bike off. Eh. Anyways, I uh, just wanted to demonstrate, since they are lights and they're blinkers, it's better to do it this way than trying to do it with the uh, still picture. I want to really, 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 really thank Try at Mod 250 for all of his immense help, and also for this really cool module that keeps me having my running lights. Yay! Alright, thank you, and have a wonderful evening.